Hey guys, it's Charlie again. Uh, this video is going to be a reaction video to uh, this bootcamp video that I, you know, watched before I joined. Uh, I just kind of want to give y'all like, hey, this is true, this is not true, you know, uh, kind of add on some stuff they left off, you know, because uh, a lot of people have even been, uh, you know, asking about bootcamp, been stressing out about bootcamp, and uh, like, uh, I kind of just want to you know, kind of ease your mind on it. It's not that bad, I promise. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to reacting to this video. Alright, first. The freaking bus ride is one of the scariest things ever. You got, they make you put your head between your lap. You, um, you know, you can't talk. It's dark. You know, it feels like you're driving around forever. The bus finally stops. This freaking guy gets on the bus telling you to, hey, scream, all this crap, sit up, all this crap, get off the bus, run, 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 run. So that right there, that's very accurate. That's exactly how it goes, and it's pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah. Walk well, fast, get on the alpha bridge right now. Where the difference begins, recruit received. Upon their arrival at MCRD Paris Island, young men and women take their first step toward becoming a United States Marine. As they stand on the yellow footprints, firmly at attention, heels together, head and eyes straight to the front, and thumbs along their trousers. They are given a speech by the receiving drill instructor on how these recruits are expected to conduct. I definitely recommend going ahead and like uh, you are kind of now like cut your hair. Marine Corps recruit depot, Paris Island, uh, South Carolina, and, made, like, and you have like, just like, taken the first step sure. toward becoming a member of the world's That's finest fighting force, the United States so. Marine Corps. Starting now, you will train as a team. You will live. Well, this is the exact eat, speech. Sleep and train as a team. The word I, I will no longer be a part of your vocabulary. Now, standing before you are two silver hatches. These silver hatches signify your transformation from a civilian to a United States Marine Corps recruit. Therefore, you will pass through these hatches once and never again. Do you understand? Yes, sir! Scream yes, sir! Yes, sir! So recruits, grab the hatches. Yes, sir! Scream I, sir! Yes, sir! Are you get in right now? Scream I, sir! sir. Get in, move fast right now! Scream I, sir! Where the difference begins. Upon entering the recruit administration center, Recruits are assigned their platoon number and training company and complete paperwork that is necessary to begin their training. Uh, they're always fine. They're not really messing with you that much. This is like, uh, like they'll yell at you sometimes, but they're trying to get some done. That bag right there, the blue money room, value bag, where they will make a scripted and final call. Phone call sucks because like your mom, dad, whoever picks up it's on the other end. In receiving, recruits are given their first regulation. See, this is why I told you don't come with like a full head of hair, because, dude, I don't know what's wrong with these barbers, but these are the worst hair hair I've ever had. These like haircuts hurt. Like, you're going to cry their individuality. Um, but yeah, you're going to be really itchy if you have a full head of hair. So I would recommend just go ahead and probably get that buzz before you, even, you know. Uh, leave for Before training can begin, drill instructors must take an oath in front of the series commander to reaffirm their commitment to the recruits and to the Marine Corps. These drill instructors will be with the recruits throughout all three phases of recruit training. Being your drill instructors is not that bad. Um, it's just actually kind of like, kind of motivating to be honest. It makes you feel kind of like, oh yeah, I'm ready to get some. Kind of thing, uh, but me and your drill instructors uh, across the not that bad. And are the but after you meet them, uh, what it is as when things turn up, it gets bad. Physical training, or PT, is a monumental part of both recruit training and the Marine Corps way of life. Marines must be physically fit to successfully fight on the battlefield and continue to win America's wars. Recruits PT several times each week. 
and must prepare for the physical fitness test and combat fitness test for later on <sighs> Thank God I was for his life. and their Marine Corps <laughs> career. Four values guided discussions. Uh, this is pretty accurate. Uh, the times you do get to spend, uh, like the video says, with your senior drill instructor, they're more chill times. They're like your parent figure, like your dad, your mom type figure. So this is pretty accurate. Uh, it's not any yelling. He sent all the other drill instructors away. And it's just like uh, him and y'all one on one. So this is actually pretty accurate. You'll confidence course. Learn to enjoy these. Here, drill instructors focus on building confidence in recruits by pushing. All right, now things like this, you have to. Uh, um, you have to learn to enjoy. You have to make the best of it. You have to make it like, uh, I don't know. This stuff's fun. You have to make it fun for yourself. It gets your mind off things. Uh, kind of makes you feel like a Marine. This uh, is actually, pause it. I actually got a really funny story about this one. Uh, so uh, the drone instructors, and of course I'm not gonna show it on here, but the drone instructors will actually mess with people they really don't like. Uh, they'll shake the rope. Uh, they'll do all kinds of stuff. Uh, when I was in, um, this actually happened to me when I was in, uh, I was on the rope, I was going, I was going, uh, and you have to do your hands a certain way, um, and I didn't do them a certain way, but I was like still making it down the rope, and they were like, uh, they were like, hey, Cantrell, switch your grip, switch your grip, switch your grip, switch your grip, and I was like, I right, sir, I right, sir, and I was like, you know, switching my grip. And then he like the Joe Instructor just like yeah whatever and just started shaking the rope like waving back and forth and I kind of like did like a uh, you ever seen like wipe out like I did kind of one of those kind of flops and wires. No, it was kind of funny. <laughs> Mickey Map is uh. Map is fun. Hand to hand martial arts style. By the uh, if you're not liked within your platoon, your uh, belt level. your drill instructors will make uh, you know you pair up with like the biggest guy, and they'll just get him to keep flipping you and you know choking you out, all that drill. stuff. Practice drill, every drill is not that bad. Uh, sure, when you get like out of like you know uh, boot camp, you gotta think it's gay to do drill. But when you're there, drill is actually pretty cool when everyone, you know, gets it down packed. It sounds really cool, like all the snaps and pops with the rifle, uh, the heels in the ground. Like, it's actually pretty dope once, you know, you get it done. Like, look at that. Basic You actually still remember the D's and stuff. Swim Week is... Or, yeah, Swim Week is basic water survival during recruit training. Uh, evaluation consists it's not that bad. Drone search is pretty swing. chill. The swim search kind of got you. Your drone search is not really with you that week. Water, um, stripping a combat load underwater. But yeah, it's, it's really not that bad. Uh, I know they changed it from two minutes to four minutes for treading water now. Training so day 24 marks the beginning of second day. Uh, I actually didn't have to do the rappel tower, so I can't really tell you much about the rappel tower. Down, rappel rappel tower. tower. Uh, instead of us doing the rappel tower, we had like a 4th of July thing where we had to, where we got to, you know, Watch fireworks. The recruits spend several uh, hours in classes over yeah, how to safely and successfully to repel down a wall. <laughs> After completion of the repel tower, the recruits move on to a greater challenge: the gas chamber. Recruits oh taught how to put on gas, gas mask and left sucks in second. boot camp. Sucks. Recruits are then in boot camp. On their it's new not that bad in fleet at all. In boot camp, I don't know what CS gas. like goes on, but that crap gas sucks. Used uh, build recruits confidence. It's definitely not this calm in there. I can tell you that. Uh, you're gonna be doing exercises in there with your gas mask off, not on. Uh, sometimes your drill sergeant doesn't like you. He's gonna take out your filters and you're just gonna be breathing in straight CS gas, and that crap burns really bad. So good luck. Uh, I wouldn't piss your drill truck off before uh, gas chamber. Just be wary of that. The Marines live by an Rifle week, not bad at all. Marine uh, kind of except for right. grass week, because they'll just make you sit or like uh, be in the same position, uh, shoot position like for hours. Marines 
uh, but actually helps you out. Uh, helps you shoot better. But gra uh, I mean, uh, Rifle League's not bad at all. It's actually pretty fun. Ethos. First time, like, Sets shooting stuff. So. Uh, yeah. Not not bad. Bad. Pretty chill, too. Like, uh, Recruits must the fire personnel there is, like, with you. Uh, I actually got to hear about the Conor McGregor and, like, Floyd Mayweather fight when they were fighting. Uh, the different positions of the city. When that was going on, so he told us about that. Prone. Like, uh, stuff like that. He was music. I mean, technically not supposed to, but, you know, the guys were really chill, so... On training day 48, the recruits begin the third and final phase of recruit training. Third phase, baby. Third phase. Where they are challenged on everything they have been taught during their time on Paris Island. CFT sucks, to be not honest. That fitness test. But it's not, one of two not a bad. It's only like... In the Marine Corps. Consist of three Ooh, graded events, maybe five minutes of total 880 pain yard sprint for the entire thing. Ammo can lift. That's with the 880, the, the ammo can lift, under fire, course. and you know the maneuver under fire. So look at it that way. It's like maybe six minutes, five six minutes. Okay. But those five to six minutes. So, okay. Final drill. Where recruits are ultimately tested in their abilities in close Final order drill, drill, drill. on the renowned Petros Parade Deck. Sorry for all the sniffling, I think I might be catching a cold or something. During their time in recruit training, recruits have spent over a hundred hours. You also just take a lot of pride in drill. Uh, drill hat. Uh, Final drill so, is the last yeah. time it will it's step actually, it's, like I said, it's pretty dope when everyone gets it down packed. Um, yeah. On training day 63, the recruits uh, awake at zero two. I don't know why. Begin their six uh, mile hike to Page Field. Why left this out the first BWT challenge week? Of many for the in this video, event. but uh, you'll have BWT weeks before all the Crucible and all that stuff. The next 54 uh, grueling hours under simulated right combat she jumps over as well. Uh, yeah, BWT week is uh, actually pretty, it's actually kind of fun, but it sucks. It's your first time going to the field, um, but you do like things like a, it's like a, kind of like a manhunt where all the instructors, uh, uh, all the instructors, uh, they like kind of hunt for you and like in teams, like in squads, and your squad has to make it to a certain location without being seen. Uh, they like uh, all the instructors have like a flashlight. If they flashlight on you, then you know you're done, you're out. And like the platoon with the most popsicle sticks, because they give you all popsicle sticks, the platoon with the most popsicles, popsicle sticks wins that event, stuff like that. Uh, you do land nav, BWT, we can pretty sure. Uh, and you do uh, it's like uh, obstacle courses kind of thing, and those suck really bad. Uh, my birthday was actually during BWT week, so I'll never forget. It's gonna be really sandy. Crew cover and, 40 miles by foot. They are now running on very few Crystal, meals and very few it's hours not of sleep. That bad is <laughs> they make it seem. It will be the most really difficult not. challenge of their lives so far. You can't get into the groove. Hey, really 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 so you get your Let's go, get some, get some, hurry. It's actually, uh, like, drill instructors will actually get in there with you uh, during the Crucible. Your drill instructors are more like mentors by then. They're not yelling at you as much. During the beginning stage of the Crucible, they will be uh, towards the end. Like, they kind of, like, chill out and just talk to you and all that. This actually is pretty funny. We dropped somebody trying to do this. We had a really big guy. Uh, yeah. This, the Crucible is not the only time you get to box. You get to box before the Crucible. Uh, as well as, like, people six. You get to do that before the Crucible. Uh, if you're not smoking out, please don't it off. Get a phone call home. Come back. So, never do that. And, uh, my drone just did it. You can just score it higher on your PFTC up to Core values, uh, guided discussions call, so. are held during the Crucible. Yeah, like I said, uh, the drone instructors are, um, the Marines of the past. they're more laid back towards the end of the Crucible. They're like, uh, they'll show you kind of like what they do. Uh, kind of like bend towards you or, uh, instead of just, you know, just blast. 
This is the same obstacle course you do during the WT2. BW. Yeah, during that That sucks. That drag somebody freaking sucks. You gotta be so freaking exhausted. The hike back. Rough. It was rough for me. I had a hip fracture actually. Uh, and I was a road guard, so it was a nine mile hike ahead of everybody. Um, it really sucked for me. There, uh, they will watch their nation's flag. Uh, but the hike back, your feet are completely the covered eagle, globe and anchor, destroyed. The of the Marine Corps, completely destroyed by their drones. The you are so exhausted. Thus, uh, completing the transformation walk in and earning the title of the United States, States Marine. But like you just gotta have a mental drive during this hike uh, of a hey, once I like once the hike this hike's over I'm a marine I'm getting my EGA I'm done with all this bull like that's kind of what I thought about and then you get to this moment right here where you get that EGA and like you'll never forget this moment ever ever ever. ever, ever. Yeah, I, I was crying like a girl when I got mine. Like, you can't help it. Like, I don't care who you are. You be a tough guy, girl out there. You're gonna, when you get that EGA, it, it's gonna mean something to you. You're gonna feel something. My senior drum circuit actually gave me my personal EGA and he gave me his personal EGA. He awarded me that. He awarded me uh, with that. Yeah, I was crying like that. And I was in the front row too, so. That was pretty good. The last evaluation. After that, Marines like, you're a Marine, for graduation and is the for the most part, you get treated as such. Some drill soldiers still might try to teach uh, uniform treat you like a recruit. Are held in order to uh, check but for the most part, you're treated pretty much like a Marine. Uniform, um, as well as test and Marine final inspection and stuff, it's not that bad. Detail. You already know how to act like a Marine and all that. You already know what you're supposed to do, so it's not that bad. Graduation day. The day they have been anxiously awaiting since then first. Then we have graduation practice and then graduation. Tunes march on the Petros parade deck one final time for the graduation I actually graduated ceremony. and dressed blues. So. Marines have served aboard Paris Island since 1891, and more than one million Marines have been trained here. It was hot. They have departed uh, Paris hot. Island for combat and conflicts throughout the world. It's also another moment you never forget when you see your family for the first time. Not many weeks. Who cares? Eight weeks. After surviving 13 weeks of the toughest, most demanding basic training the United States military has to offer, these young men and women, like hundreds of thousands before, it's a good feeling walking across that parade deck as a United States Marine. It's pretty, it's a nice feeling to have. This is your instructor going now. This is Mr. Platoons. This is the last and probably the most welcome order the new Marines receive from the senior drill instructors. Finally get it, and then I ran. I was off. I got the island as fast as possible, as humanly possible. I set us up, took pictures. I was like, "Can I get a piece of it?" Got all, got a sea bag, body bag, all that stuff, and I was like, out. Oh, I 
I need to care so much. Well, let's go to the Alpha for right now. Out. You are now aboard Marine Corps Crew Depot, Paris Island, South Carolina. But yeah, guys, that's basically it. Um, boot camp's not that bad. I promise it's not. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, hopefully this video kind of gives you like a little bit of ease, a little bit of comfort going in boot camp now. It's pro I promise it's not that bad. You're going to look back on it and wish you can go back. You're going to look back on it and laugh. It's going to be some of the best times you ever had. But uh, guys, make sure you subscribe. Please subscribe. Please click that button, subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell so you get notifications when I post my video. Uh, like the video as well if you liked it. Hopefully you did. Uh, leave some comments down below like y'all doing. Keep it up. Uh, Cause without without y'all, I wouldn't be able to do this. Uh, so if I grow, I get big, then you know, it's it's all with y'all's help. So I'm not doing this on my own. I need y'all's help in this. Uh, but as always, guys, thanks for watching.